I kept walking and then I heard empire. Oh no. So I turned around and I said, did you just say to me? I mean, I see the uh, attacker. Oh no. He said, this MAGA country punches me right in the face. Oh no. Fighting, fighting, fighting. There was a second person involved who was kicking me in my back. Oh no. Oh no. Jesse Smollett paid $3,500 to stage his attack, hoping to promote his career police allege. Oh yeah! Hey everyone and welcome back. So that intro should have given you all the info you needed on the Jesse Smollett bullshit that happened. But if you want a little more info, I'll link a few videos in the description that go into greater detail. I wasn't going to bother covering anything about it because a lot of people already have, and I didn't feel like I could add anything to the conversation. But then I saw that Black Hitler had a hot take on this, and I couldn't resist this slow hanging fruit. So let's take a look. So y'all gonna lock up Jesse Smollett for lying to the pigs. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a felony. How many of us black people have died because of the lies of you colonizers? Doesn't matter because the unjustified deaths you're about to exploit for your racist propaganda don't have anything to do with Jesse Smollett lying to everyone about a hate crime that never happened just to further his career. Huh? Emmett Till, at 14 years old, who was dragged at the end of a truck? from miles before he was beaten to death and then shot and thrown in some goddamn trenches somewhere at the age of 14? That was a tragedy. I will not dispute that. I don't think anyone will. But how is an actual hate crime inspired by real racism comparable to some jackass inventing a fake hate crime using the false idea that Trump supporters are racist and homophobic? Honestly, the family of Emmett Till is probably insulted at someone using racism to make himself richer when actual racism cost them an innocent family member's life. Because of the lies of a white woman named Carolyn Dunham? It's Dunham. Not when you look at it, it says Dunham, just Dunham. <laughs> Ham. What about the entire town Rosewood that was burned down with 150 murders of black people because of the lies of Fannie Taylor? Again, a terrible tragedy that should never have happened. But it happened before we were born, just like the rest of your examples. I know you've always had this bullshit idea that white people today have an obligation to pay for the sins of their ancestors, but you have no legitimate reasons as to why that is. Lynchings, burnings, running over of black bodies in Rosewood, Florida because of the lies of white people. We all agree it was wrong for that to happen, dickhead. But that doesn't mean that black people now get to do the same thing to white people and get away with it. Your logic is literally at the same level as that of a four-year-old who thinks they need to hit another kid because that kid hit them first for no reason. Where are they going? When are they going to jail? They're all dead, you fucking idiot. That happened literally more than a century ago. Anyway, I'm going to skip ahead about 30 seconds because I'm tired of him bringing up cases of actual hate crimes. And I can't take him standing on the graves of actual victims to defend some dickhead just because said dickhead is black. You want to talk about lies? When is George Bush going to go and be charged for lying on Iraq and murdering 461,000 people because he lied about weapons of mass destruction that they did not have just to steal their oil. Not a fan of Bush. I'm just stopping to ask if this is going anywhere. America is built and sustained on nothing but lies. When are y'all going to prison for that colonizer? When? Never, because I didn't participate in any of that bullshit that you mentioned. And if Africa is such a paradise in your eyes and America is so terrible for you, then why don't you fuck off back to Africa? Literally no one will be upset about that. Hell, I could probably start a GoFundMe to cover the cost on your behalf. You want to talk about lies? Let's talk about the lies of this Israeli colonizer settler state that built itself on top of Palestine, murdering, imprisoning, mutilating countless Palestinian people. Yes, you are a colonizer. I don't care if you're wearing a hamaka, a white hood, or a Brooklyn Nets hat. Under that is white skin colonizing European bodies over the bodies of dead Palestinian women and children. Are you done? Because we're 2 minutes and 20 seconds into the original video and all you're doing is complaining that white people are colonizers for having white skin 
because some tragedies have happened in the last century to black people, and somehow that means that Jesse Smollett doesn't have to suffer the consequences of breaking the law. And now I'm wondering how you haven't hurt yourself doing these mental gymnastics, because trying to word that sentence gave me an actual migraine. You want to talk about lies, America? You want to talk about lies, FBI? When is the people that were in that did... Ooh. Okay, I take it back. I think the mental gymnastics have finally melted something. That dropped the bomb on goddamn Nagasaki and Hiroshima. Nigga, Japan attacked us first. And they didn't learn the first time we dropped a bomb on them, so we dropped another one on them. Have they attacked us again since then? Get some! Yes, President FDR Franklin Delano Roosevelt knew about Pearl Harbor four days before it happened. But you know what he did? He pushed more civilians and more soldiers on Pearl Harbor on the day he knew they were going to attack, that Japan was going to attack. So it would be more casualties. So the American public would allow him to drop two atomic bombs just because he wanted to show the world his new war toys. Okay, I have read articles about FDR receiving intelligence that there was going to be an attack on Pearl Harbor. But that shit about him orchestrating it just to get permission to drop two nukes is just a bullshit conspiracy theory. Jesse Smollett lied didn't equal the death of nobody. So the fuck what? He still broke the law, dickhead. He wasted police resources and he insulted millions of people. Also, when I watched Sinatra's video on this, he used a clip where someone pointed out that if two white guys had coincidentally been in the area at the time and got arrested for this, Jesse would have had no problem allowing them to take the heat for his bullshit never fucking happened hate crime. Would you want him prosecuted then? Probably not, because you think that because bad things happened to black people in the past means that black people should be exempt from the law today and be allowed to do bad things to white people for revenge. Jesse Smollett lied didn't equal the pain of nobody. So he totally didn't insult everyone who's been the victim of an actual hate crime. He didn't insult the millions of Trump supporters by taking advantage of the bullshit myth that we're all racist and homophobic. He didn't insult the millions of fans that he had believing he was an actual victim. And he didn't waste 48 hours of police resources looking for criminals that didn't exist simply to forward his dying career. Yeah, totally a victimless crime. All it equaled was fake Instagram posts of bourgeoisie celebrities acting like they gave a damn about a black faggot. Okay, I know it's beyond your comprehension to acknowledge the fact that white people have moved beyond the racist beliefs of the past, but what the fuck makes you think that celebrities were pretending to care? Yes, some dickheads were only jumping on the opportunity to virtue signal about Trump's America, but now y'all are learning why we maintain a healthy level of skepticism when something like this happens. Which, now that I think about it, Black Hitler, you should be condemning Jesse along with the rest of us because now the people are going to be even more skeptical when an actual racist hate crime happens, and you'll inevitably make another video crying about how the mean white people could have the audacity to believe in innocent until proven guilty. And probably something about how that principle is born out of white supremacy or some shit. Because y'all never gave a damn about us. Shut up. You fucking idiot. You just used his story as a way to highlight some good part of your heart that you ain't got. Well, if that isn't the pot calling the kettle black. So please, don't tell about no lies. Well, since you said please. Chicago PD, tell about the lie of that secret torture chamber you have in Holman Square where you're torturing 7,000 plus black bodies. What, you mean jail? Chicago PD, talk about how you orchestrate. Wait, Chicago PD has an orchestra? Yes, orchestrate gang violence in Chicago. And orchestrate these mass shootings in Chicago. In case you need any more proof that Black Hitler is off the rails crazy, please remember that he thinks the violence in Chicago was orchestrated by the Chicago PD. Not the violent gangs that infest the city. Nope, it's the cops. Fucking lunatic. Chicago PD, dirty mother suckers. Dirty mother suckers. Chicago, you talk about these goddamn schools y'all shutting down. And that, kids, is why you don't elect liberals to run anything. Talk about it. Expose that before you expose Jesse. Dude, it's no secret that Chicago is a shithole. Therefore, none of it really needs to be exposed. And they're not exposing Jesse. They invested a potential hate crime, like they're supposed to do, and their investigation concluded that Jesse lied about the whole thing, and that he was in fact the criminal. You either die a hero, or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. When y'all gonna lock up all these pigs that are lying and killing our children? Nigga, what? When y'all gonna lock up all these white vigilantes that are lying and killing us? Dude, are you actually stuck in the 1950s? There aren't white people out there in hoods going nigger hunting just because they feel like it. 
Hell, I could turn this back on you and say that if you want to talk about black people getting killed, why don't you talk about black-on-black -black crime, which is the leading killer of black people in the United States? When y'all go lock up all these white men that are killing black sex workers like Ted Buck, who killed two black homosexuals in a year and a half's time and hasn't done one day in jail. I don't even know what you're talking about because I couldn't find this case on Google, but again, I'm still waiting for you to give a valid reason as to why any of this means Jesse should be let off the hook for what he did. When are y'all going to lock up all these white priests and missionaries that go into black communities and African villages and African towns and Caribbean places and South America and all these places and mutilate, sodomize, rape, and molest our children in the name of their white Jesus? You literally made that up. No one is going to Africa on a missionary trip, cutting little boys' dicks, and shouting, Amen, Jesus! Amen, Jesus. Amen, Jesus. You ain't never gonna lock them up because you are them, police. You are them, FBI, who lied on the Black Panther Party. Oh, you mean the black supremacist group that walked into a California government office fully armed? What exactly did they lie about? But guess what? Black Panther 2.0 is here. Okay, so you're saying the FBI lied about the Black Panther Party, and I can only assume you mean lying about them being the terrorist organization that they are, and you follow that up by announcing that Black Panther Party 2.0 is here, in a fashion that implies that you're also a terrorist organization. Are you trying to get on an FBI watch list? Because that is how you get on an FBI watch list. Me and my young comrades have created the Black Hammer organization. Learn more at blackhammer.org because we taking over because we gonna lock up these colonizers. We gonna lock up these terrorists. We gonna lock up. Dude, this country has more guns than people and I guarantee we outnumber you. So good fucking luck with that. These people, these monsters that have created lies and hanged us on their tree as forbidden fruit. But Jesse goes to jail. Well, yeah. That asshole broke the law, and when you break the law, you go to jail. And if you and your black hammer sheep ever attempt to take over, you'll find out firsthand when you're arrested and taken to jail. If you think you've taken black dick before black Hitler, just wait until you get to the showers. No! Nigga. Oh, you think you just gonna leave it down there? No, huh? Don't waste no motherfucking soap in here. Not one blood drop is on his fingers. Are you saying that there has to be a death involved for something to be a crime? Because that's not how the law works, you fucking idiot. Uh oh, I think he's about to cry tears of fake oppression. This is America. Black power. There's no such thing as black power, you racist lunatic, just like there's no such thing as white power. All you're doing is fighting fire with fire, which only causes more fire. Don't believe me? Ask California. They know all about fires. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Please hit that like button if you did and feel free to share it on social media. A special hello to the subscribers that came from my Two Cents channel. Y'all have helped me break 250 subscribers. Only 9,750 more and I can ask Baring to do a collab. If you're completely new to the channel, please subscribe and make sure to hit the notification bell. And as always, I'll see y'all in the next one. Catch y'all later.